Brandon Allen, Bob Molinari, and Bean Camp for Trusting Business. Listen, we see what's going on. We see what's going on in the world. There's way too much hate. Whether it's Pittsburgh, whether it's California, whether it's Sri Lanka, whether it's New Zealand, this cannot happen. We cannot allow it to happen here in New York City. We need to address issues that are going on right now and address them at this level before anything can ever get to the level that we've seen somewhere else around the world. We need to make sure that people feel safe. No one should ever fear going to some place to work. It is unacceptable any sort of crime against a person's religion, against their sexual orientation, against their race, against their gender. This is something that we, as the New York City Police Department, take seriously. So when I get this phone call to get here, I make it my, my duty, my responsibility to get here and to make sure that you understand how serious we take these issues and how we're going to investigate them and how we're going to try to prevent them from going on in the future. So with me today, Mark Molinari, we're going to talk about, he's the head of our hate crime unit. He's going to talk about the exact issue starting from last Thursday when there was a SWAT sticker put on a bus to the assault on, uh, on, sat on uh, Saturday and then again on Tuesday. Obviously, everyone's seen the, the videos that went out there. Horrific, absolutely no reason. Uh, someone walking down the street, minding their own business, attacked from behind. This is something that we're investigating. We put out media, Mark will go a little detail, but we're getting a lot of tips from the community on who this may be, and I'm sure we're going to identify this person. We look at it as so younger, 15 years, 18 years old, school age kids. Rodney can go into a little more detail what we have to do to educate these kids. Because one, they have to understand how wrong this is, how deeply it affects the community, how deeply it affects everyone sitting in this room, how deeply it affects this city when something like this happens. And we'll also go into a little deeper on how to cover this, how we're going to increase the coverage, Jeff, Penny, uh, Charlie, and what we're going to do in the neighborhood to make sure that when you go to the synagogue, when you go going home, when you're going back and forth to your houses, that you feel safe. That we have the coverage out there. You know, we have our counterterrorism resources that are going to be in the neighborhood to make sure that everyone feels safe. So I want to kind of go into letting everyone have their chance to speak and then hear your concerns as we go in. So Mark wants to just go in the investigation and the body 